been a long time since Big Pun was alive, Eric. Uh, yes. Yes. I'm has. going somewhere with this. The He's 90s? Def- no, no, the early 2000s? Was it? I think so. Probably like O2 or something. And at one point, when he in his older years, he had to sit down. He was too fat to stand up. And I'm reminded of this because you sent me a music video of, I don't know who or what this woman is, but she's the size of Big Pun. What I want to know before we watch it is, is this going to be a welcome change from the lyrics we've been hearing from new newly found sex tape release, Sexy Red, or Suki Hana, or the other girl who people said sounded like a guy? Is she going to have these types of lyrics, or is she going to come out with deep, deep lyrics, possibly with the car that 20 girls are sitting on for some reason? Uh, look, I gotta be honest, I don't remember what it is she's talking about, because there's, there, it's just very hard to focus, right? Like, I, I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's just, it's, it's quite obviously, and we'll get in, you know, we'll play the clip, but it is really quite comical, right? Like, how are we even supposed to take this even remotely serious? And keep in mind, it is very difficult for us to take anybody, whether it's Sexy Red or Cardi B or even you know, my cousin's swollen balls, Nicki Minaj, all of that is very hard to take seriously. We live in a complete clown world, for lack of a better term. So how on earth are we supposed to take this even remotely serious? Who is this for? Who Who is this for? <laughs> the comments are ruthless. The comments are absolutely sweaty, greasy. Toria's PIG is a given. That's been used for 30 years. There's no way she could fit in that car. B.I.G. was a big boy. She is an S.S.B.B.W. John. I don't know what that means. This is the worst America has to offer. That's some Philly. That's some Philly slang. Like, I know they got like Philly John. Like, John. I I don't know that. Look, but uh, can can you scroll down a little bit more? I don't know if you have to log in or whatever. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, that might be that might be worth an an entire video in and of itself. It's like who's going to come? Who is the market for this? Like I said, who's going to come out and be like, yes, Queen Slay? Like, this is beyond the pale, bro. We have passed the Rubicon many, many, you know, metric tons ago. Well, if it was uh, metric tons ago, that's funny. It reminds me of Fat Bastard. If this was something more girl-centric other than hardcore rap, it reminds me of when I think Beyonce had a fat dancer on their stage. On I don't her know stage? If I remember that, but this look, this is a it... fat dancer. I think it's uh and that was like heralded. Is this though it's coming up with Lizzo? Sorry, go ahead. No, well, I'm just curious. Is this and look, obviously I have a tendency to go off the rails with the conspiracy theories, but is this going viral in direct opposition to sexy red who is a fraction of the weight saying oh you know donald trump's not quite that bad and you know even if her reasoning is completely off she basically says yeah the hood rocks with trump like which i've been saying for a long time if you recall like many many times i talk i say go to the hood in flatbush go go to brooklyn and like talk to people there and then they they see through it so without this being completely political this is a way for them to say, like, come on, like, let, let's like obey us. Like, look, look at this. This is who we're. I mean, the, the market is just getting so no pun intended. The market is getting very slim, right? Like, it's just it's just dwindling down to nobody. If you have lost the 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 sexy red base, if you have lost them, <laughs> then you you're you got nothing. Uh, maybe maybe we'll start a war. All right, let's watch this. And I could find the video I was looking for, but I have lined up a lot of fat chicks dancing, so we'll take a look at some of those. Bitch, it ain't no cap in me, ain't talking about shit. Why hoes be bumbling? Pay fat queen. These bitches under me, worry about who? Which one gon' bother me? I done lost my mind, I think I left it at home. I ain't fighting to the top, I put my name on the throne. I've been chosen again, if she wants more, she a fan. If I lose 20 dollars, I'm just gon' up shit again. I be mentoring these bitches when I rap, it makes sense. Bitch, I made it on my own, y'all had to suck three dicks. I ain't jumping for these niggas, then I stand on that shit. I can outsmart a killer, ain't no scaring me, bitch. So the thing about that is, Eric, is it's not terrible. 
But I did notice that she's caressing herself, but then also pulls her shirt down to cover herself instinctively because she should not be exposing it. She's following the trend of wear big pants to cover your gut. That's very popular, especially among the English women, judging by the shows my girlfriend watches. However, this tr- she's using what's a quadruple XL pants or something. Look, I, I don't know, but it's I think it's pretty obvious that the selling point here is exact opposite of what we typically get when we get Cardi, you know, the strippers and the, you know, and they, the fake boobs and the and the face tats and all this stuff. Like even as as, you know, not not very easy on the eyes as say sexy red is. I mean, she literally has gone viral because she looks like young thug. She's she you know, she's she's a normal size woman. This is the complete opposite of that. They know that. That very same rap, that very same subpar, very middle of the road beat is doing nothing without the (laughs) shock, without the shock value of a, I I, I don't know. I mean, I I genuinely, I'm not good at like, you know, football weights and basketball weights. Like, what do you even think this woman means? At least 300. 300. Yeah. So we, she knows the, the media machine behind her just as well as we know that this song is doing absolutely nothing. It is average at its very best without the shock value of this 300-pound woman. And this is where we come. This is where we are as a society. Um, <laughs> and it's just, uh, it's sad. And I know we all, you know, people comment, oh, like, don't give it any attention. It's like, dude, mm-hmm. give me a break. Like, we're going to, you know, it, it's going to happen. Like, it's going to happen without us. So might as well weigh in. And this is something that I've uh, dealt, you know, even when I was a kid, when I was young and growing up in California and you see gr- there's graffiti everywhere and you're like, what the hell are these people talking about? Why are they writing? Why are they scribbling all over? I want to do that, too. It's like if everybody's weighing in, if everybody's going to have something to say, then I'm not going to sit here and stay silent. We're going to have to roast this. And we're, we have, uh, Did we roast her? I don't think we even roasted her. I mean, her raps are well, subpar. She's incredibly fat. Those are obvious <laughs> things. I don't think I don't think any of that is clever. I what I don't get is the trying to market it like it's male rap. Like you say, who is this for? It's hardcore rap for maybe a, a small group of select women in the hood who don't really like want to attract men because you've got fifty women on screen, just like a male rap video might have where everybody brings it brought out on stage, and then you're talking v- vulgarly, which. We've obviously discussed ad nauseum that there is a market for that, but it's now completely oversaturated. But who is like, I want to see the morbidly obese woman and the other hood rat girls talk about sweat, like killing and gang bang. Like nobody actually wants to see that. Nobody thinks it's cool for a girl to do that. It's only it's like it's for them and their friends. But if well, we uh, stick, can you mm-hmm. d- d- does it mention her name? Like I feel like I we saw it, that. No. Okay, all right. So that's even that's even more a kind of a shot. It's like we're not even gonna we're gonna post this girl. We're not even gonna tell you her name, but just look how crazy this is. It said produced by and shot by, as in like filmed by, but didn't give her name. <laughs> like she was too busy. She was too hungry. But in my um, to give her name, I mean. But in my search for the fat dancer, let's see. I got a couple more. Wait till two more, two more. Come here, boy, boy, can you get it up? Come here, boy, boy, is you big enough? Take it, 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 take Okay, I think we got the point here. It's like Eric People it wants has be- two million likes, which means oh it must have God. ten million views. It says bully dancer shocks everyone. You didn't. It's like you invite the special kid on the team to make them feel good. Nobody thinks it's attractive. It's obviously worse. You can't do the moves as fast. Show me the competition where this girl is lasting as long with her stamina as the other girls who have now they've pushed the thinner girls who have worked their whole lives on, uh, on dancing to the background (laughs) right here. I'm going to go ahead and mute it. And it's like, let's focus on this one because we can explore. These girls have, have not 
eaten Taco Bell quesadillas every single day of the past three years, and now they get pushed to the back because we say we're bullied. So we've got obesity plus bullied. The intersectionality of victimization still goes, I guess. The The fat stuff always persists, but it's never accepted, which is strange, I think. There's some level of acceptance with, you know, racial hierarchy on the left and no human is illegal sort of stuff. But the fat stuff never gets accepted by any large group of people. And nobody questions as to why that is. It, but it they just still is. push it. I mean, you've seen the vi- the viral pictures from years ago now of, you know, Calvin Klein 2021 with right. the giant fat woman versus Calvin Klein you know uh 1997 and so they push it they continue to push it very hard but um i think this is also just another another way for them to completely eliminate reality right like you this you gotta like this this should be attractive joe biden is spending your money properly do the new current thing and look without without ruffling too many feathers it's is it pretty obvious and i know this is not what we're talking about but is it pretty obvious that I mean, Ukraine has basically vanished into thin air. All of the weirdo lefties with their blue and yellow flags in their yard have been replaced by a million and one, you know, pseudo conservos who now have their little flags in their bio, too. So it's like, mm. Turn it up, Jordan.